going to be doing much work on my computer today. Hi guys, had some guests staying so we had to shove extra stuff into my workroom. I'm not sure if I can get in there. They've gone home now so I should be able to shove some of that stuff back into the other bedroom. Hi guys, up in my workroom. See if we can find an electric motor that we can connect up to here to convert this little flywheel car to electric. There's several ways I can do it. It would be quite convenient just to find the right size gear so we can link it straight onto here. Or we could go right to the back axle and put a gear straight on there. One way that I've done it in the past, quite successfully, is just put a little bit of rubber sleeving directly on the shaft and then had that rub directly against the flywheel. And that will actually drive the car forwards. There we go. There's a little... I think it's probably a one and a half volt or three volt motor. Got a connector lead on it. A little lipo. So that would work. That's probably the simplest way of doing it, so I might just do that. I'm not sure if that motor will fit inside the bodywork. It just happens to foul exactly where that bit of bodywork is. Well, I've just checked, if I put it at an angle like that... ...still works just as well. Looking at this car, there's a slot just there... ...which, this little on-off switch that I've got... ...bought off eBay, bought a whole load of them... ...that's going to fit in there just right. So I shall hot glue that in there so I can switch it on and off. There we are, finished. So electric motor, glued on at an angle, just hot glued there so it's rubbing against the flywheel. Then we got the wires from the electric motor via that switch. And then I've got a small lipo battery there with a bit of blue tack just to hold it in place because this is only a temporary modification. And the body just pushes on. And there we go. It's not very fast because of the way it's geared. But it works. So that was a very quick, simple modification. Just out of interest, I've seen some cars that look just like this in a different shop and they're radio controlled. 
and they were I think they were £7.99 but the reason they caught my eye was they looked like they were exactly the same bodywork so I can imagine that they've used the same casting or moulding and then these are the cheap ones that have just got the flywheel motors in them and then the more expensive ones have got the radio control and a different chassis underneath. One final little point for those people who always want my cars to go faster. The reason this one goes so slowly is the shaft, or the bit of rubber that I've got on the shaft, is a very small diameter compared to the flywheel that it's rubbing against. So if you want it to go faster, just make this black bit here a bigger diameter and that will increase the ratio between the motor and the flywheel and the car will go faster. I've kept it as simple as possible just so we can see the car working but it'd be very easy to make that bigger and then it'd go much faster. That's it. Job done. Plenty of room for improvement if anybody wanted to make it go faster.